Hi, for some videos I decided to make some intro, but there won't be commentary during gameplay, mainly if there are problems, warnings or things like that. Alright. is an open wound. We should keep moving. No telling how long that gate's gonna last. So tell me again why this was a good idea. Yeah. Uh. Are here. Uh. Gotta have food to share. Uh. There shouldn't be zombies inside the fences, right? Better question? Where are all the people? Oh wait. They can't all be gone. They sure left a lot of yeah. stuff behind. Best find of the day. Keep your eyes open. I bet you can find a better weapon here somewhere. Can't do it. Maybe my idea to explore the camp wasn't so good after all. Too many bees behind us to go back now. You might as well keep looking around. You should definitely find a better weapon than your knife. That'll come in handy. Look at that. Even after this long, people kept hoping to find their families again. Yeah, just like Mom hoping we'd come home when she got sick. It didn't happen either. I had a job and a life, unlike some people. Somebody has to take care of it. The show wasn't going to be you. I'm not getting into this again. Not now. What is this place? Creepy as fuck. That's what. Get it off me! Looks just like the gooey one we saw outside the gate. <sighs> it bit me. I got gunk all over my shirt. Now that is a tragedy. Now this is gonna- I guess even a zombie apocalypse can't stop red tape. Shit, this bite is really itching. You always did fuss over every little scratch. Oh my god. What the hell happened here? <laughs> Rest. Oh, what a mess. Is it just me, or did it suddenly get really hot? Maybe we can find you some medicine if we keep looking. Nice job being quiet. That'll come in handy. Yo, that's a lot of zombies. We can get past them if we're quiet. Be any civilians here. We thought the army might have food. Where did everyone go? Whoever's still in charge shut it down, pulled everybody out. The army's gone, kiddo. Lucky for you, I stuck around to keep an eye out for anyone left behind. Oh, 
fuck, I feel terrible. I just want to lay down and die. Juan, you don't look so good. My brother was bitten. I, I think it's infected. Got any medicine? I've seen this before. You need something special. Go find the doc over at the SMV. Tell him I sent you. Hey, there aren't supposed to be any civilians left in the camp. I always knew she was a softie. What do you need? My brother is sick. I think it might be serious. Uh-huh. Eh, you'd better come with me. This is like the one that bit me. What's wrong with it? We call it the blood plague. It's contagious to humans, and it takes you while you're still alive. Are you saying that's what's gonna happen to me? Well, probably, but maybe not. Hey, you! Come here. You have a flashlight. Look for a sample case in there and bring me whatever you find. I've been researching blood plague with some other civilians. We found a cure that works if you use it soon after infection. The army took our lab when they left, but they didn't get everything. Did you find it? No cure? Damn. I'll need an infirmary to culture a new dose. Hey, Doc, shit's getting bad out there. Thanks to all the noise, the Zeds are swarming the perimeter. This camp is done for. It's time for us to go. All of us. You know I can't leave Jamie. If you stay, I gotta stay. Then we both die. Jamie's gone. But this kid still needs your help. Okay, fine. Just... Give me a second. Make it quick. We don't have much time. Before we go, I need your help. That thing in the cage? It was a person once. I tried to reverse the effect, but we ran out of time. I don't have it in me to do what I should. Maybe you do? I'm sorry. I hope you're in a better place now. Listen, I know we've had our problems, but please, don't let me turn into one of those things. You're my brother. I have your back. Always. Thank you. I'm sorry I wasn't stronger. All right, time to go. Big Sister's got the wheel. I heard some rumors about a good place we can hold up. So how do we survive without the army around? We keep going. As long as we stick together, we can survive anything. Sounds like we're empty again. We'd better be close. This is the place. Pull up here. It's not much, but it should keep us safe. Luckily, I don't need that much to get started. Good to know. How are you feeling, little brother? Like I got hit by a truck. This plague shit sucks. Yes, and you need to take it seriously. Get over to the infirmary, okay? Yeah, sure. The infirmary. Maybe that'll fix everything. I gotta rest up. I feel like trash. Please tell me he's gonna pull through. He has to. This isn't as good as having the actual cure, but I should be able to keep his blood plague from getting worse for a while. That is, if we can keep our supply of meds from running out. Damn it, this isn't fair! 
Hey now, don't panic. The doc has this under control. I know how to make a cure that'll work. That's not the issue. I just need more plague samples. My lab didn't have enough. I think I saw a place where we can find all the samples you'll need. You're still on your feet. Come on, this'll be fun. Lead on. It could be worthwhile to climb up and get a better look around. Wow, what a view. I've looked around, and I can say it's promising. We should make some time for scavenging runs. That should do it. This is it. Okay. I'm not letting you down. Not like I let Mom down. plague sample we need. Nice work. We're one step closer to the cure my patient here needs. My bad. I did that. There's bound to be better places down the road. Okay, I brought back the sample. How's he doing? I'm starting to think dying would be better than this. Relax. Everything will be fine. And you, please drop the sample in our supply lock. We now have enough plague samples to make the cure for my brother. We should get on that as soon as possible. Okay, I have the cure in hand. No more lying around for you. Not to stress you out or anything, but I'm still kind of dying here. This is our best shot. Let's hope it's good enough. Okay, medicine. Work your sciencey magic. Yeah. Now that I'm not dying, I can. Thank you. Because of us working together, my brother is alive. As long as we stick together, 
I have a feeling we'll be in this for the long haul. All right, we survived. That's good. But we ain't the only ones out here trying to do that. Unless we start killing some uglies, nobody's gonna last in this town for long. In my experience, the best way to find uglies is to follow the screamers. I saw one on our way into town. Shouldn't we worry about making our home safer instead of hunting zombies? All it's gonna take is some building materials and we could make this place real nice. Trust me, y'all are gonna love what I planned. Carry that rucksack for you if you'd like. Keep us going. Set here. No, it's worse than we thought. I'm looking at an infestation here. Once they gather like this, it just gets worse. Can you clear it out? Guess I'm here anyway. Might as well. about long-term survival, we need friends. Let's get on the radio and see who else lives around here. Nothing but good time. You want something? I hope we can find the materials we need in here. I feel like this shouldn't be our top priority right now. Look, we gotta improve this space. It's priority one for me.
Oh, that's gonna bring trouble. Oh, nice. Now I just gotta carry these materials home. I can carry that rucksack to you if you'd like. What a treat. Anybody want to sign for this? We can use those materials to start building any time. I say we build a workshop. We can make all kinds of stuff there. Now that's a big Having a workshop is crucial if we want to be able to make stuff ourselves. Trading is nice, but can't trade for everything. The best way for us to survive is by heading off potential conflicts before they even get started. If we claimed the nearby military site as an outpost, that would warn away any potential troublemakers. It'd also give us a steady supply of ammo, in case anybody doesn't get the message. Yo, this is your new neighbor, reaching out to say hello. Hit me back if you're up for a little meet and greet. If we're gonna keep a roof over our heads... It's a relief to hear another voice. We're in a bit of a bind and could use some help. Can you come by? Ah, you see? We just got here, and we're already making friends. Come on, let's go say hi. Just about anything to spend an afternoon. The air smells awful here. It's got to be a plague hole. Am I the only one who thinks this might be crazy? I need help. I think we got to do this. Uh uh, not today. Oh shit! Someone needs a head. So, like I was saying. Hold that button. <laughs> so, like I was saying. I'd give just about anything to spend an afternoon in a bomber. Hold that thought! That won't work. Ah. So, so, like I was saying, I'd give just about anything to spend an afternoon. Hold that thought! I really appreciate that. We're seeing a lot more plague zets lately. I tell you, it's that new plague heart growing nearby. Our neighbors are out of food. It looks bad, guys. Of course, it's not like we're doing much better. We gotta go out and scavenge for more. So, like I was saying, I'd give just about anything to spend an afternoon in a bomber. It wouldn't even matter who's playing. A hot dog, some beer, and a game, and you're set.
Somebody moaning out there? are going to be stoked to see this food. This outpost is secure. Took me long enough. Jeez. You know, I almost hate to say it, but a little more work here could pay off. Can't carry that much. You want something? All this weight's gonna slow me down. Clear. Not enough pockets for that. Nothing left here. What's up? I just finished a new outpost. Yeah, I gotta tell you, it's looking good. You know, come to think of it, I can see how we might improve this place even more. What's up? even want to know what makes the air taste so bad. That Zed's infected. Keep your distance. If we can't find more food soon, we could be thanks. You really came through for us. I guess we owe you. Oh, yeah, of course. We took a risk, reaching out to strangers like we did. But making connections like that, I think it's how we rebuild the world. Delivery! right here will be amazing. Better 
keep moving. So much for being quiet. Looks like we're running low on ammo. What's up? You want something? We need everyone in this town to know that we're the ones calling the shots. You know, for the end of the world, I honestly expected worse. This is serious enough that I'm gonna see the doc. School was a haven for me. When I was there, my imagination just ran wild. Music and computers were my favorite. It was incredible to touch and use these things I'd never have otherwise. What up? Yeah? What up? I got knocked back a bit, but I'm good to go. too loud. Guys, I'm not super happy about this aggressive plan of ours. I get what you're saying, but I don't see that we have a choice. Yo, this is bad. I see a bunch of dead army guys walking around here. They're probably wearing bulletproof helmets. Handheld weapons are a better choice here. Relax. I got this. military site is the first step to staking our claim on it. Don't worry, I got this. Alright, no more zombies over here. Can you get an outpost set up there? 
People need to know this is our territory. Hmm. Good times. Hello, neighbor. By now, I expect you've seen the plague heart grown nearby. I don't know whether it attracts plague zeds or makes them, but they're everywhere. So be very careful in that area, okay? I've seen plague hearts up close, and they're goddamn terrifying. We could use a good friend in this fight. Making friends is a smart move. They could have good stuff to trade. To be honest, the only people I really trust is this group right here. We should build the tools we need, rather than relying on outsiders. Whatever you're looking for, it's not here. We don't know for sure if plague sets are created by the heart or just attracted to it. But if we leave this one alone, it's only a matter of time before one of us catches blood plague. Uh-huh. I've seen what this blood plague can do. Bombs. Should be enough to seriously mess up that plague heart. <laughs> Way too loud. So this is where all the plague zombies hang out. Huh. Hey neighbor, I just finished making a batch of explosives. Plenty of bang for the buck. Thanks man, these look fucking great. Guys, I just scored some badass explosives from our neighbor. This is why having good trade partners is so important. Hello. I hope the Plague Zeds haven't given you too much trouble. I was hoping you'd ask. Ah, <sighs> excellent. I feel a lot safer having a buddy around. I used to paint watercolors, just for fun. I was never any good, but you don't have to be. Just stirring up those colors and brushing them onto paper is a beautiful, joyous act. We're getting close. You can tell by the red haze. And the plague zeds, of course. Okay. I gotta make this quick. Yeah, that shit worked great!
appreciate some help getting back home. For sure. I can work with that. Let's go. This shit is heavy. What's up? Shoot. Oh, great. Here they come. By taking out that play cart, he really showed us what you're made of. All right, lead the way. I'm right behind you. Knock him off! Finally clearing out one of those play carts is a big first step. Are you saying there are more of those things? Most of town is crawling with plague sites. It's really bad. Believe me, other towns have it worse. I figured it was time for our neighbors to see where we lived. I'm afraid they have some bad news to share with us. We've done just fine so far. Hey, there's no harm in having a little help on a tough job. If we're gonna be friends, we should make it official. How about they join the team? Let's ask them what they want to do. I'm serious about that offer to join you here. Good call. I think this will work out well. Bye now. We've made it this far on luck and skill, but we need more. We've got to have a plan, a direction we can follow. And that's got to come from one person in charge. Nobody survives out here alone, right? You've got to reach out and make friends. Yo, I'm great at making friends. Put me in charge as your trader, and we'll be set. Our future depends on being able to take care of our own needs. If I were the team's builder, I'd get us planning for the long haul. I'm not saying you should pick me. We need everybody in town cooperating and getting along. As your sheriff, I could make that happen. A group this big doesn't get much done without a good leader. 